All right, YouTube, today we're going to change the battery on a car. This is a 2014 Subaru Forester, but this video is going to teach you the basics and how to do it on just about any car. Your car could be a little different, so use this as a guide. You want to be safe with batteries as they do have voltage, and at no point you never want to connect those terminals together and be careful not to short the battery out. Other than that, watch the video. I hope you learned something, save some money, and you can get yourself out of a jam if you've got a dead battery. First thing we're going to do, let's remove this little red box that protects the positive terminal on the battery. So every battery's got two terminals, a positive and a negative. We're going to loosen the clamps on each of these. So you can see I'm doing that here with a 10 millimeter wrench. So loosen the nut up and then you want to slide the terminal clamp up once it's loose. Next thing we've got to do is remove this battery bracket or the clamp that's holding the battery down and you can do that with a simple 10 millimeter socket and I'm going to use a small ratchet here and we'll just loosen these completely until we can take them off. Now we're going to completely remove the bracket so that we have access to the battery. Important item to know, your new battery's got to match up with the old one, meaning that the positive terminal that I'm pointing to here needs to match on the new battery as well so that it fits properly. Now we're ready to reinstall, let's start with that battery tray. Make sure it sits in there properly and then it seats fully. Now let's lift the new battery back into position and sit it right in the tray. Not all cars have this, but a lot of the Subarus have this insulating blanket. You definitely want to replace this and put this back in place to match the original. If there's one part of the installation that can be a little bit fiddly might be the right word, it's putting this bracket on. So at the end of these little rods, there are hooks, and you can see them in the video here. To reattach it, these hooks have to engage into the holes. So hopefully you paid good attention when you took the old battery out, but if not, here's a close-up. Those little hooks go into those slots, and once they do, you can pull it tight while you're tightening those nuts. So it helps to put a little bit of upward pressure on this bracket until the bracket really starts to snug down. is getting there so now what we're going to do is tighten these bolts up don't go crazy and make them too too tight but you don't want this battery moving so snug it up now we're going to reattach our terminals this is just the reverse of what you did earlier I always start with a positive you're going to put that on there and use your wrench and just tighten that nut up and again you want that very snug Now moving on to the negative terminal, do the same thing. You're going to slide that on, tighten that 10 millimeter nut up, and snug it up very tight. Once you're finished, you want to double check that everything is tight. Give the battery a little shake. It shouldn't move much at all. If it does, you really want to redo your work or tighten those nuts up. Mm -hmm. 
All right, things are looking clean. This looks good. I think we did a good job installing this battery. Let's move on for the final test, which is starting the car. Things are looking good. I hope you enjoyed this video. It provided you some help. If it did, I'd really appreciate it if you'd click on the thumbs up. And even better, click subscribe for more great videos.